Once completed, uh, I needed to control this thing, and the best way to do that for me was to add a Pi Zero to the back. Um, super cheap, $5 um, through uh, a USB connection directly, and then powering it off of the control board, which is included. And so this is a really easy and um, quick option for controlling this thing wirelessly, remotely. Um, and then the box enclosure actually is pretty good. Uh, my only beef with it is the tape that's included is not great. I would have preferred a hinge. So with the Pi in place and the box in place, the control software uh, allows me to, through a web browser, um, drive the machine pretty easily. This is an advanced option uh, for those who haven't done this on their own. And I'll show videos in the future about how to set this up for yourself if you're interested. So. Stay tuned for future videos on how to install that hardware and the software that drives it.